G'day guys, Rick uh, from Patch to Plate here, just with a quick video on how to build a DIY uh, cloning box. Um, cloning box, what you use these for is to take cuttings off plants and get them to set roots so that you can get them back into a hydroponic system or even into the ground, uh, maximise your throughput for the year. It's just a 22 litre storage container or a tote uh, called in some places. All I've done is drill six holes in the top with a hole saw and then with a pool noodle or a little pool float just cut out these little discs uh, to hold onto the plant. The idea is to not have the uh, the stem sitting in the water, it holds it above the water. And you can see here there's a just a, a bubbler or a, a, a bubble stone that sits in the water, or air stone sorry, and it just makes bubbles that throw um, a little bit of nutrient and water up onto the, the bottom of the cutting and that encourages the root growth. Uh, you can see we've got some uh, tomatoes there just coming across. This is the um, this is the air pump for the for the air stone. You can get those at pet shops, aquarium shops, hydroponic stores. Uh, pretty cheap. I can't remember how much it was, but under 20 bucks, I think. Uh, so here's a cutting I took just yesterday. It looks like it's about to cark it, but they always look like this. You can just see the little dro the little drops of water there on the on the stem and within sort of two or three days that will have thrown a small amount uh, just a couple of little roots and then after that the root development will really go crazy now uh, here's one that's been in for about two weeks this one is ready to plant out into um, I'm going to put this into some auto pots probably today or tomorrow but you can see the the root growth there and you really do you know through doing this you end up with a mature plant you know that's that's ready to go um, I've got a couple that are they're ready to plant out. The next one I'm going to show you has probably been in about a week but it had a period of time where it wasn't getting any water so you can see the roots are brown and died off and this is this one's a bit of an experiment really just to see whether I can bring it back from the dead and get anything out of that plant. And here's another one that went in the same time as that other one. You can see the the root growth is really uh, amazing. So yeah, highly recommend building one of these. It's a, you know, you can do it really cheaply and um, you know, you can really put a lot more plants. In this case, I'm, I'm interested in putting more tomato plants through in a, a reasonably short growing season so that I can get the most out of it. So yeah, give one of these a go. Uh, I'll do another video shortly on how to take cuttings and things. Just while we're at it, um, if you're enjoying these videos, please uh, click to like it, um, click on the uh, top right there to subscribe. If you're interested in aeroponics or building an aeroponics tower, I've got a couple of videos on how you can do it yourself with um, you know stuff you can source easily and cheaply. So check those out if you like. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.